Ah, good old-fashioned sharpening. Well, I know you love to press HDR, and I know you love to use LabSharp, but how about doing it to just particular areas rather than have to run an action, create your own layer mask, and do it? Why not just do it yourself? So let's show you how to do it. We take a look at this image here, okay? Got a lot of stuff going on here. We don't want to sharpen all this up. We don't want to sharpen all this up, do we? But let's see how it works. What we're going to do first is we're doing with everything. You can tell by now everything works on layers. We hit Apple J. We got a layer. We're going to go in here. We're going to, whoops, click down here. You don't need to get to this yet. No way. We're going to click there. We're going to rename this again. We'll call it the working layer. Okay. Now from here, we're going to add sharpness to this. You've never seen us do this yet. But what we're going to do is go up to filter. Now if you look in sharpen, the sharpen edges, sharpen more, small sharpen, unsharp. We don't need to work with that. We're actually going to go to other here. One of the best sharpens is something called high pass. Okay. Click on high pass. Take a look. Now I have it defaulted to 10. That's the best way. If you look at her, it's like Wow. Wow. That's really not good, is it? Now, if you go up or down, take a look at our shot. See, you're going to really start to see things. So it doesn't do too much. We want to be right around 10 is our normal number. Okay? So we're going to hit OK. See a lot of detail there, don't you? Now, obviously, you're looking at this thinking, OK, um, don't want it to look like that. Now, one of the important things that you're going to do here is you're going to need to add a blending mode to the layer. Remember blending modes right up here? I'm going to click on here, and we're going to go down to something called soft light. Take a look. When we click on soft light, now, if you zoom in, you look. This is still pretty freaking sharp. Okay, let's take off this layer. Remember, go to the eyeball. Next, we'll take a look at it before. Now look at it after. Quite a difference, huh? Now what do you think we need to do here? What seems logical? I bet you're going to say layer mask, and guess what? If you did, you'd be right. Click on layer mask. Now white is currently coming up. So what does white mean? White means it's revealing, and black means it's blocking. So we're going to hit Apple I to invert it. See, it's back again. Now it's soft. So what we want to do is pick key areas that we wipe away. We want to sharpen key areas. So the areas that we'd want to sharpen would most likely be the eyes and the lips. Now right now, we could leave it at 100 and leave it dramatic, but we're going to set it for 20. That's what I'm going to set my brush for in most cases. Okay, so I'm going to hit B for brush. It's already set for 20. I'm going to reduce it down. Now, do you think I want to sharpen the whites of the eyes? No way, because I'm going to start to see detail. Let's take a look. Let me do that for you for a second. Let me set it for 100 and take a look. See that? I'm seeing all that crap in the eye. I don't want to do that. The areas that I want to sharpen to are mostly going to be around the eye. Take a look. Right in here. Now, this is set again for 100. I'm being more dramatic. It'll be around here. Now, by doing this, take a look at that eye. It's like, bam, it is right there. Okay, we'll do the same thing here. See how it's pulling all of that in? And what's doing is still keeping the rest of this soft. I'm going to go over the lips here. Going to be more dramatic at 100% here. But remember, if you look back on it, be like, you know, that's just too sharp. You can go and just bring the opacity down. Let's bring it up. Okay. Go up right here. Pull it down. That's a 27%. Now, if we go up to 100, quite a difference, right? So you can find where you want it. But ultimately, all you're doing is working with. A high pass on your filter, which is in other, and you're setting the layer to soft light. This is very, very key that you change the blending mode to soft light. 
and that's how you work it. Again, number one, we first set it and make an additional layer. Our second thing we're going to do is go up to filter, we're going to go to other, we're going to go to high pass. We're going to set our settings for roughly 10, then we're going to change our blending mode to soft light, then we're going to add a layer mask, we're going to invert it to black so that we're able to block it out, we're going to go to our white brush, and we're going to paint it back exactly where we want it to be. That's simple.